Next question is from Paula Angela. Smith machines versus free barbell weights. Oh, easy Smith machines. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh, all day they're they're completely different. Just because a barbell is present in a Smith machine does not make it a barbell, uh, you know, machine or barbell exercises. Totally, totally different. A Smith machine has a barbell fixed on a track. Um, so every single exercise you do on a Smith machine is different, very different from what you would do with a with free weights, uh, with free barbell weights. Mm-hmm. Um, Smith machines are versatile as far as machines are concerned. You know, most machines you do one exercise on them. I'd say the only thing that's more versatile than a Smith machine are cables. Uh, cables are extremely versatile, but with Smith machines, there's a lot of different variations of exercises. But I I typically never really use them uh, with clients at all. I'd say that the few exercises that I would do with this mach- mach- Smith machine would be like a Stationary lunge, maybe to, to to give someone a little bit more stability to teach them. Mm. Uh, but even then, I'd prefer to do it free and have them hold on to something for balance. You could do like you know presses on it, uh, and then it's more like a machine press. Um, which, I love body weight rows. Yeah, uh, you're just using that. it like but a that's it. like a rack. <laughs> yeah, that's, you, that's it though. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. There's not a, a, a tremendous amount of value. I mean, if if I were to buy, if I were to equip a gym, let's say a home gym, right? A Smith machine's not cheap. I wouldn't put a Smith machine in there. Um, I, I put cables in there first. Well, I think the appeal is the the safety uh, in terms of it being in a track. It, like it eliminates a lot of other variables where uh, you know with the barbell it could travel left to right. You could twist. You could rotate. Uh, lots of different uh, things that your body has to uh, accommodate for. Um, but in terms of it being as effective, it's just not even in the I, same ballpark. I don't know if I agree that it, it, the appeal is that it's safer because the people I, I see at very advanced people use it a lot, mm. and I think it's easier. That's the appeal. Sure. Well, it's, wasn't that the initial intent of building it was yeah. to keep people like confined? So it was a little yeah. less. So I saw a movement the other day, somebody doing it, and I I've used it for this before, and I forgot. I like this. This is kind of cool. Um, single leg deadlift on it, right? Because the bar is- comp- Sure, you're right? ba- it's balancing for Right, you. so if mm. I'm really trying, like let's say I have a, a discrepancy in uh, right to left of my, my client lower half, and they uh, they do a really good job, like their, their glute just isn't firing as well, they're not hinging as well on the left side as they are the right side, and so I want to do single, single leg type exercises. And I know single leg dumbbells or single leg uh, barbell presents a, a major challenge just of stability. So if I'm really just trying to get them to fire that glute, uh, you know, consistently having something like a, a Smith machine bar makes it very stable and easy. And so all I'm concentrating on is the hinging. So there's places. I also love using it for like a upper body, like incline press or shoulder press. And I'm doing strip sets and I'm by myself. So I, there's places of value for this. Now, to Sal's point, if I am on a budget and I'm building a gym, I'm not wasting my money here. The thousands of dollars you spend on a mm-hmm. Smith machine, there's so many other cool tools that I would I would put in my garage gym. I would never waste my money on a Smith machine because I've gone years without ever using one. Mm-hmm. But if I'm in a gym and they've got one, sure, you find me playing around. But I also do that with lots of machines that I would never buy and put in my garage. So if you have access to it, I think there's... There's some places of value for it as much as I know we shit on it a lot. Um, so there's places of value to it and you can use it. It's just, it doesn't even come close to comparing to a barbell. There's so many more benefits to barbell training uh, than there is to on a Smith machine. I mean, you get all the same benefits and a bunch more, right? So where the Smith machine is not that way. There's a lot of benefits you don't get with the Smith machine that you get with barbells. So it's a, it's an obvious win for the for the barbells. But I know on this podcast we we take a shit on the Smith machine a lot, and I don't want. I, I, there's there you can use it, and if it's in a gym, I, I don't think it's like blasphemy to use it. I think that the, you can use it for certain things. It's just it's not. It's just not as valuable as a barbell. 